So, I mentioned this game in a couple of previous streams. I only recently started playing it, and I said that I wasn't going to stream it. But, I changed my mind. I'm going to, I'm, I'm decided that I should do one stream of this game, just because I ended up loving it so much, and I wanted to show it off. So, I'm going to do a whole single Dragon Quest Builders 2 stream. Just to just as a sampler to kind of show off what the game is. Because it's, it's it's known, but it's not super it's not super popular. Make sure I got the cursor off the screen. So basically, this is Minecraft the JRPG, is what this game is. It ended up being similar to what a lot of people praise Terraria for, insofar as being Minecraft but with more single-player focus, more beheading people. Toriyama's in it, so you know, that's cool. But unlike Terraria, where I couldn't get around the controls, I struggled with the fact that it was 2D. This is 3D like Minecraft. And I've been playing it a lot. Off stream, just on my own. I'm a substantial bit into the game. I'm going to be jumping into a blind spot of the game, this stream. Just to see a part of it that I haven't seen. I've been watching, I watched uh, many streams which first got me interested, so I ended up seeing the first couple islands, maybe the first 60-70% of the game. I'm guessing. Again, I'm in the middle of it. I haven't finished it, so I don't know for sure where I am. But I'll tell you a little bit about it as we go. Again. Just a sampler stream, really. I'm not going to do... This is an absurdly long game. It's got a, a huge amount of content. Much like a JRPG. But I don't think it stagnates like JRPGs are, tend to. A lot of critics of JRPGs think they do. I kind of think they do too, so... I didn't have this problem with this one. I've had a lot of fun with it. There is, like, an online multiplayer aspect to it. You can, like, share builds. You have a world that you can... is your own. You can invite people to. You can go to other people's worlds. I'm not really in the game for that. Because, you know, I just I play Minecraft for building stuff. This is more about the single player for me. Also run it a little bit choppy with the with the stream in tandem. Maybe that'll settle down as it loads in a little bit. So you start off washed up on this island. You and your buddy Malroth here, who's you know, is, looks like a villain. His name is Malroth. He's definitely not a villain. And you decide, hey, let's uh, let's set up a life here. Let's make this island ours. Except there's nothing here, so the game is comprised of going off to other islands to get the things you need to build up this island. Each of the other islands is its own chapter, and it's basically a self-contained JRPG of every individual island. What was I doing? I wanted to go to settings, see if I can... Maybe I might lower this, the settings just a bit for the stream so it runs nice. So I've done, as far as I'm aware, there are three story islands, and I've done the first two. 
which I'd seen Vinny stream the first two, so those weren't new to me. I kind of knew what to expect with those. I'm now at the point where I'm ready to go to Island 3. I am blind. I don't know what's going to happen. We're also not going to finish it because each of the islands are, again, extremely meaty. Graphic setting. That's what I want. Is there like a... Uh like a, a, a default thing. Let's go to quality. Let's see how that that works. Runs a little bit better. Also, why well, say each island chapter is pretty self-contained? It is you lose all of your stuff when you go there, so it is a fully self-contained story, more or less. Oh, right, yeah, I'm, I'm being attacked by some dudes who are very patient. My dudes told me to get out of here. Including an old woman in a bunny costume who I found in a cave and speaks like Smeagol. It must run away, takes Malroth with it and runs! This is, this is a very silly game, with very silly characters and dialogue. Which I wish would run nicely. It runs great when I'm not streaming. The stream has put a little extra, a little extra meat on it. I'd have to load it. Let's turn Bloom off. Let's see if that helps. I don't really want to go to low texture quality, but let's jump in. As Smeagol says, let's jump into the next island. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. Combat is very, very basic. Still a little more, a little more to it than Minecraft at the very least. Not really the point of the game, so I can forgive it. Still chugging a little bit. So the first island was all about farming. The plot involved uh, restoring a farm that had been like polluted and ruined. The earth was salted. And the second island involved uh, restoring a mine to its former glory. So we had the farm island and the mine island, and I have no idea what the third island will be what aspect of the game it could be themed around. So, uh, also, aspect of the story. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. Because despite the mountains and mountains and mountains of dialogue in this game, it's not a terribly deep story. Builders are considered heretics. A cult of, uh, a, a monster-led cult called the Children of Hargon has become the dominant religion of the land. And it's a cult all about destruction and been building and creation is evil. I'm going to tweak the settings one more time. Because somehow... 
The game runs at max settings just fine without streaming, but this OBS running is enough to put it over the edge that I need to just set everything to minimum. Which is sad, but I guess that's the way it's gonna have to be. This is the PC, the Steam version. This game is on a few consoles. It's on PS5, I think. It's on Switch. Doesn't run great on Switch, I have heard. And off to another island. Uh, hmm. Well, I assumed this was the start of the her of the third island. Maybe I jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe we'll just explore uh, places we've already been. The island quests are massive. Hence why I describe them as self-contained contained JRPGs. So we will definitely, even if we were to start Island 3, we would not be finishing it in one stream. Again, why I just called this just a kind of sampler kind of stream. Are we good? Are we here? Yeah, OBS just crashed. Is it an issue with uh, encoding? So I don't know if there's something else going on with my computer, or if it is just the game and OBS trying to fight over resources. Controller also disconnected. There we go. All right. Seems like we bumped into a rock or something. Oh, okay. We, we got... We got blocked. This seems like a story climax section. Maybe. Jumped, I jumped back into a part of the game with minimal building and maximum fighting. Oh, there's first person too. We can go full Minecraft. I, I, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't read all this. There's just too much dialogue in this game. It, it, it is endless. Uh, we go for it? Yeah, he's fine. He's a pirate. He can take it. Okay, I guess we can't risk it. Our, our pirate captain friend, who we barely know, but he ferries us. He's nice. He's a nice ferryman. Maybe, uh... Oh, is, is this the third island? Oh. So it doesn't matter what island we choose to sail to. It seems like the third story island in the game is probably the, like, evil lair of the children of Hargon or something. That seems like where this is going. Like, we just get kidnapped there. Ah, it's all my fault we're in this gherkin. Oh, that's another thing. Every character in this game has an ill-defined accent. The farmers all had various degrees of Celtic accents. The miners all had different kinds of Cockney or British... British accents. And as is usually the case in text-based games, they don't translate very well to the text boxes. But boy, do they try. So, I've lost all my equipment. Wow, they, they made me basically naked. Okay. Well, I guess, uh... I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just sleep then.
Belrog and Malroth are each subjected to a thorough body search before being thrown into jail cells. This game also started on, like, a, a monster ship. Like, we were held captive. Where it, it's Skelkatraz. Is that the third island? We gonna have a jailbreak? Uh, I want an inventory. Yeah, it's it's just it's gone. Everything's gone. Got a sweet new uh, prison outfit though. Ragged rags. Defense plus one. Let's we we gotta go into we got we gotta feel the immersion. There we go. Wow, in low quality, it really does look like Minecraft. Are you too new? Oh, you poor things. Okay. Yeah, we got a prison break. It really does look like... Yeah, it's... It's... Minecraft the JRPG. Okay. But welcome to A Way Out, Part 3. Jack could not join me, so uh, instead I have my buddy Malroth. What do you think, Malroth? Good to see you again, partner. This place is pretty swish. Swish, huh? We got separate bedrooms and everything. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I've been treating my villagers like in, in hovels. Most of them don't even have beds, and when they do, it's just all in one bunk together. So, of course he thinks this place is great. Okay, we got no names. We're, we're numbers 6207 and 6208. There's also very strong hints. Hints, I say, that uh, totally good guy Buddy Malroth here is the god of destruction that these guys are all worshipping, but he just, he doesn't know it or he doesn't remember it or something. I would call the story of this game only slightly deeper than the story of your average Pokemon game. But again, it's mo more the experiences about the progression and the building up and you know, the, the accomplishment when you finish a JRPG-like like chapter. Okay, we got rehabilitation. Led by uh, Sergeant Skeleton. I want to talk to Sar I want to talk to Mr. Bones. Can I go up there? Yeah, uh, maybe I can. I can. I can parkour. Hey. Stop wandering around. This is a prison, not a perambulators. A walker? All right. What do you use these for? A lot more variety of pieces than in Minecraft. A lot more types of decorations. There's a ludicrous amount of work they put into this game. It's also uh, Koei Tecmo, which is, I think, the people behind the Warriors games? Hey. You're late. 6207, I've heard about you. My sources tell me you're a builder. Is that so? Yes, I, I am an evil heretic. No. Hmm. I think I'll have you work the field. But creation is forbidden. What the fuck am I gonna do in a field? Tear it up? <laughs> Go and plant seeds. Well, these guys are hypocritical as shit. Oh. I have to 
destroy the gotta destroy the goddess statue. There's been mention of some kind of goddess. I assume it's like a creation deity or something. I don't know. It's just it's just miraculous. It's ladybug. Creation and destruction, all that shit. Where are the fields? These look fieldy. This th these are fields. Hey trunks. Toriyama and his, uh, his, like, twelve faces that he draws. He just mixes and matches eyes and noses and mouths and things. It's alright. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm gonna go third person now. It's more scenic. Was your heart not filled with anticipation for the crops to come, with the simple joy of creation? Huh? Going to the hole? Are we going to go into solitary? Going to ask 784 in the storehouse for 16 more seeds. Okay. He's gonna have us plant a bunch of stuff and then destroy it. Is that how this is gonna go? No. Okay, fine. Fortune teller Baba. Hmm? New fish, are you? The smile on your face gives that much away. Yes, I am 784. People used to call me Molly the Monster Meal Maker once upon a time. Crying shame, really. Young folk like you don't deserve to be locked up on this rock. Unlike us old folk, we've done things. This is Skelkatraz, a prison island used to rehabilitate anyone who dares go against the children of Hargon. Itsy Bitsy Island surrounded by miles of open sea. Not to mention the steep cliffs and ravenous mermen. They can't they're not even mermaids, they're mermen. Been here a whole 40 years now. I think I got tired of staring at the sky and sea on my first day. There's a little bit of clever dialogue here and there. Most of it's just kind of par for the course, though, which is why I'm not reading everything out loud. Hmm. This would be a very slow stream if I read everything out loud. I used to cook for the monsters from time to time, but then the children came along and said humans and monsters can never be friends. This, uh, this, this needs, uh... Mm -hmm. We need Luca and Alice. By the sound of things. Here the guards beat the love of creation out of you, and then one day you wake up without any hope for the future. It's enough misery for one day. Hey. I wonder if they just gather these seeds from other humans on nearby islands or something. Like, seeds don't last forever. They must have grown something recently in order to be in possession of these. Do cabbages even have seeds? I have no idea what cabbages grow like. Other than that they are like heads in the ground. What do you have to say, Trunks? <laughs> All our blood, sweat, and tears have finally paid off now that the field is ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're gonna destroy it. It's like uh, what? What's that? Uh, that that hell, the 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 mythical one where the guy just rolls something up a mountain, over and over again, only to have it knocked back down. Or like children's hell in Japan, where they just build piles of rocks only to have them knocked down. Trust you've planted all the seeds. 
You have re-educated many an unbeliever in the children's teachings. Spends the rest of the day doing countless odd jobs. And then at night, all the monsters just destroy all the stuff, right? I'm waiting for it. It's so telegraphed. There was one dude earlier on in the game. A monster who was like, hmm, this seems pretty cool. I might, I might forget all this and become a builder too. He was cool. I miss him. get a whole cabbage. Oh. Good guy, Malroth. Really a misnomer. You know what being nice gets you around here? It gets you no dinner. Okay. It's just it's just a pirate robot from Dragon Ball. I miss him, too. I cook on one of these? I cannot. There's not a type of fire suitable for cooking. the children of Hargon making us plant stuff. I thought they were dead against any kind of creation. Lady Cooks No More said they wanted the prisoners to abandon their love of creation and follow their ridiculous teachings. Which I am definitely not the god of. <laughs> Don't want to bother anybody. Guess I'd better do it. I wonder who built this place. And how long they imprisoned him here, as soon as he was finished. I miss our pirate friend. He was the only one so far with a funny accent. Good interaction. <sighs> the next day they watered the seeds, and then heavy rains drenched the island. And then the sprouts happened, and then they were destroyed. Right? <laughs> Nothing like a good plunge first thing in the morning. Don't want your hands to get too clean. Move? I know can move. Uh. Oh, my controller turned off. Why does it keep doing that? I think my uh, my cord keeps falling out. Is what's happening. I don't have a weapon, but I can punch. Oh, come on, I can take him.
Tell your friend to calm down. That numbskull doesn't listen to a word we say. It's nice to have a buddy on a prison adventure. Boy, uh, I, I doesn't seem like any serious building is going to be happening anytime soon in this chapter. stuff <coughs> I can punch bones Aha, I've got stuff I've got building materials I can get bones I can get grass surely I can make some kind of makeshift club with this or at least a plunger so I don't have to stick my hands in the toilet every morning of destruction, there's not a lot of destructibles around here. Choose what grows in this particular field, even though there's nothing growable there. <clears throat> okay, a lovely cabbage patch. Are there any kids in this cabbage patch? <laughs> Lovely to see our cabbages all grown up, isn't it? What's next then? We all gonna harvest them? He's from Minor Town. Never seen so many cabbages. Let's not stop here. Let's grow hundreds. Poor fools. I, I can't punch them to harvest. Can I bone them to harvest? No, I cannot harvest in any way. Spent ages growing those cabbage. Why would you set fire to them? Or Look, I roasted them. Dig in. <coughs> See how much how uh how much my characters sold. Screaming. Can I get closer? That look at that soul screaming smile. She just looks like she's in misery. Boy, he's he's awfully close there. You can just plant new cabbages. You can take the rest of the day. Oh, thanks! Who does that whack job think he is? Three full days spent growing.
Okay, we're, we're gonna learn about the bad guys, all about the children of Hargon from the old biddy, as, as Malroth says. Can I climb up to the top of the island? These rocks seem awfully convenient. I can just, I can parkour up Alcatraz. Almost. I'm getting there. I don't have, uh, you unlock something similar to the Minecraft Elytra very early on in this game, which is very useful to have. Unfortunately, I do not have it currently, as it was taken. No point to this, I can't go anywhere from up here, but I could just hang out up here, I guess. Make my own society up upon the walls. It'll it'll be like uh it'll be like our our society in the in the prison walls. <laughs> Boy, there's a whole lot of nothing up here. Oh, well, this was fun. There is fall damage, so I could just jump all the way down and instantly die. I think. I don't think the fall damage is that intense, but it is. it does exist. This arena is off limits. I guess they, they accounted for that. I can't sequence break. Not unless I know where to go, at least. <clears throat> that does seem like an awful lot of freedom to give me, though. The ability to go up there. Where, where, where's, where's Grandma? Did I lose her? Back here, for that matter. Just stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna train by punching crates. I'm gonna build up my muscles. I get what is this? A shield? All right. There's a there's a building station. I can build, I can build a leather sack, and that's it. That'll be good to know for the future. <laughs> no one's ever escaped this place. There are only two ways. Die or hand over your heart and soul to the children of Hargon. High Priest Hargon is the father of all destruction. They say no one in this world has ever actually seen him in the flesh. These monsters are so dumb they worship someone they've never even seen. Oh, Malroth. Get some, uh, some commentary? In time, you'll just become numb to everything, like me. I can roast cabbages. Can't stop me. They don't they don't know I'm here doing it. Oh! Oh! I accidentally ate that one. The button controls in this game take a little took a little getting used to. And it's not really viable to remap them because there's so many of them. 
and so many things assigned to the same button, it just, it becomes a, a big headache. Just, we did nothing. All day. Fuck all. It's, it's a magical glowing bench, as well. they getting the cabbages from? And prison life is hard. station, I guess. Oh, wait, I can cook grass? What does that do? I've never done this. Okay, I, gu I guess I can combine it with something, but I can't cook it by itself. Where am I going in here? I guess not. I would say this is a, a depressing chapter to, uh, to start on, but really when you get to the other two chapters, they're not much better. That's kind of the appeal, though. They, they just, they start as shitholes, and then by the time that you've restored life to the island and everything is, is great and beautiful again, you feel like you've accomplished something. That's the nice part of the game. I have no idea what the end goal of this prison is going to be. We don't really have a set goal like we did for restoring the farm and mine islands. A little mud bath. At least they had the good sense to make this, like, the one of the last chapters in the game. And not the first one, like Wind Waker. Because boy, that can kill a game. Huh. Gotta check, just in case. I guess it is all skeletons here, isn't it? Hence, Skelkatraz. Like, there's a lot of different Dragon Quest monsters. They just got the skeletons in charge of, in charge of the prison. The boneyard, if you will.
Well, there's spears right here. Can I just take one of these? I guess that would make too much sense. Then again, I still I guess they still have my pirate friend hostage. We don't know where he's at. Five days since you joined us on the path to salvation. And it went off again. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? You just need another, uh, I need another Xbox One cord. In honor of this milestone, I'm going to allow you to work the fields again today. Doesn't that sound fun? What do you have to say, Mr. Miner friend? I haven't felt up to doing much since yesterday. <laughs> it's said this slump won't carry on for too long. Got a sort of secret weapon for odd times like these. Sort me right out, it will. Hey, you're already trying to think of a way to escape. You'd be wise to give up on that idea, so you would. While I did hear of one person who came close to a good while... Oh. Whatever. This is also why I shouldn't read. Ooh, mushrooms. I don't know if any of this stuff that I can break without a uh, weapon will ever come in handy. It seems like it might, though. person. The option is nice. And for other aspects of the game, like combat, the third person can come in handy. As opposed to Minecraft, where you never really want to be third person, unless you're, like, filming a YouTube video or something. you have to say, Trunks. I was so disturbed by yesterday's cabbage incident that I couldn't sleep. Yet you're all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. You're made of stronger stuff than me. And this Trunks is kind of lame. And the original Trunks was kind of lame at times. Boy, these guys are terrible at rehabilitation. They just got nothing to do with us after a basic task every day. They just give us minimal work and then we sit on a bench for 12 hours. Oh, that's right. He, uh... So we were on a shipwreck at the start of the game. The tutorial takes place on a ship. And we shipwreck on the island. Malroth doesn't wasn't on the ship. He doesn't know how he got there. 
which is not at all suspicious. Let's stop thinking about stuff. All right, let's ask around for escape ideas. That seems like a, that seems wise. <coughs> that wasn't helpful. Miner man, surely you must have an idea. You can punch through the rock with your rippling muscles. Can I be honest with you? I ain't really feeling up to it today. Lucky for me, I got just the thing to cheer myself up after an odd day's graft. Cool, I can't wait till bedtime. What? What are you? I'm just digging through my toilet every night. What are you doing in your cell, weirdo? Want to know if there's a way off the island? Keep your voice down. What if the jailers hears you? Want to spend some quality time in the hole? This, this is gonna be like the, the boiling rock. We, we gotta get into the hole. Hey, there's a crazed hammer hood they keep locked up down there. They wouldn't keep talking about the hole unless it was gonna be relevant. Where's number four? Has this guy been over here this whole time? And I just haven't talked to him? Can I get the rope? No, the rope is unbreakable with fists. All of us on field duty are fairly recent arrivals, so none of us are that knowledgeable about the place. Why don't you try to talk to 784? You two sauntered around without a care in the world. You've made yourselves right at home, haven't you? No, my this smile is just glued to my face like every Pokemon protagonist. <coughs> and what is that? There's a slime back there. I, I want to kill it. Oh, wait. It's a plot-relevant slime. The slime wants to be my friend. Looks like it's taken quite a shine to you. Heaven knows why. Let's try something out. Here, take this. Uh... Wrangler's Ring. It, we Pokemon now? I'm, I'm gonna train monsters? I've been keeping it well hidden from the guards just in case I ever needed it. Where? Well hidden. Hmm. Let's you make friends with monsters, provided they're interested in making friends first, and if you feed them some monster munchies, you'll seal the deal. Okay. This is the, uh, this is the monster training island. Is, is that gonna be the mechanic we're learning about? I had no idea there was a monster collecting aspect to this game. The monsters will want to befriend you after you defeat them. Feed them some monster munchies and they'll join your party. Alright. Oh, I got a limited amount of time. Dragon Quest has uh, colorful enemies. Seems only like a good idea to recruit them. We're gonna build an army and we're gonna break out of prison. That's how this chapter's gonna go. You know, I'll bet that th there's like one big thing you have to slowly build up to in each chapter. One of them was a tree, one of them was a golem. And uh, I'll bet we have to like build up to befriending the hammer head or whatever is in the hole. That's our end goal. Oh. Uh, hmm. Didn't plan for this. Well, 
whatever. <laughs> the monster dialogue is very punny. Is that what I thought? I, 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 is that what you thought I was gooing to say? Name Splodger Splodgington Oozquire. Don't be thinking you can give me a nickname, Gooman. Old Gottfried. Gil Gilbert Gottfried? But, so he was the one who tried to escape. We're finding lore of Prison Island. It's... oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's just like, it's like slithering around inside her clothes now. Can I build anything else yet? No, still just a sack, and I don't have the required fur for that. So the bench is just the the, the Majora Scarecrow. You just you sit on it and it skips to night. Should have cooked the mushrooms. That's what I should have done. Hi. Oh, never mind. I can't cook these. I'm thinking of the wrong mushrooms. Can I cook wood? Can we breath of the wild? No, we cannot breath of the wild. Malroth does not need food. He can subsist on only water, like Piccolo. Whose eyes does he have? Is that any any Dragon Ball character's eyes? This is kind of like uh, like Zarbon's. middle of building a pyramid back on the island. I don't know why they just decided they wanted to build a pyramid. It's okay. The slime can sleep in the toilet. I never use it. There's never anything in there. Believe me, I've checked. I am at five days and counting without pooping. to escape. Sorry, oozcape. Happen to know there's a slooper special secret hidden somewhere in your cell. I know where it is. Shit. Shackles? I was so sure it was going to be the toilet after we... If we were able to examine it. Like, it wouldn't... It wouldn't let us stick our hand in the toilet. Unless there was a reason for it. A fist. Oh, we doom now! Blocks look a little bit different. Oh, it's sand, I think.
Well, that was easy. I wonder how long ago I could have done that. So we were, uh, very fortunate in the particular cell that we got locked in. This pot seems to have been used. This one smells worse than mine does. Here we go. It was for naught. A slightly soiled piece of paper. Gray! Oh, like writing paper. Try splatting it. Splatting it. Oh, don't say splatting. <gasps> I am the escapeologist extraordinaire. No prison, penitentiary, or pail of water can hold me. Tonight I shall attempt my most daring getaway yet. I shall escape from Skelcatraz. None other has ever achieved this feat. It pains me to leave my slimy sidekick behind, but such is the lot of the professional powder taker. These feet were made for fleeing, and that's just what they'll do. Powder taker. From fatal fortune beat my mission fail, I implore whoever finds this letter to do what I could not. Gottfried Escapologist Extraordinaire. So there I was, caught in Skelcatraz! My Gottfried isn't the best. Oh, okay. Uh, I will fulfill Houdini's wish. Boy, as if I needed more reason to escape. So now we begin the series of progression. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta find our boat. We gotta one piece it. The, the going Mary is somewhere on the island. Or, or the Mary go if you watch the four kids version. I don't know why you would, but that's what it was called. Maybe you could goose your fists through the tunnel. I, I don't, but the fact that not only all the, all the toilet stuff, but the fact that it's a slime using words like ooze all the time is very uncomfortable. Thank you for that contribution. I was in the middle of going through. The talkative little guy. There have been other, like, uh, monster friends in this game. You befriend a worm on the farm. I don't remember if there were any on the, uh, on the mining island. Bones are too hard to break. Maybe. Maybe if I go third person. Oh, I cannot break the bones. Not the dragon bones. The human bones, however. Through, but I want it to. I want my escape tunnel to look nice. We gotta clear all the sand. The Schmitty Werbin Jaegerman Jensen. 
So I'm going to be slowly getting tools. Like, eventually I'm going to get something that I can break through the dirt tunnels. Is how this is looking like it's going to go. I wonder if these mushrooms will serve a purpose, because they're not the edible kind. I also didn't bother to cover my bed back up again. If they just look in the cell, it's going to be extremely obvious that I'm gone and how I got out. A way out, this is not. Alright, where are we at? See if we can find a way out. This is the incinerator. No matter the manner of a prisoner's death, whether by old age or bad luck, the cleansing fires shall give them new life as willing warriors for the high priest Targon. You, you turn dead people into skeletons? I guess that's why the base is manned by skeletons. Well, send me in, coach. Hello? It's just- oh, he's fucking dead. Looking at a dead body. You know, a game for kids. That's fine. There was a lot of that in the very start of the game, too. This game is not afraid to be a, a little bit more on the- on, on the heavy side. For a- for a potentially family-friendly game. Alright, brown beard. How you doing? Everything so topsy turkey. I don't. Boy, oh, where am I? He's risen from the dead, and he's talking to Ooze. Fucking hate this line. Wait, wait a minute. He's just now waking up. This dude's been asleep for five days. And he's fine. He's just gonna walk on out of here with me. Keeping me fish fingers crossed that everything goes to plan. Captain, it's been a week. You've been in a coma for five days. Are you sure you're okay? It's a cat. It's Corin. <clears throat> Nearly sludged myself. What what does that entail? Do I want to know? Also, you keep saying the screws, which is obviously in reference to the guards, but I'm not sure what that's a pun on. It is just it's it's a way out. Dragon Quest Minecraft edition. It was entirely an apt comparison. We're just gonna do a little bit more every night. Well, a lot to take overboard. I never imagined I'd get locked up on Skelkatraz. In fact, I've never even caught current to the place. Something I've been meaning to ask ye. Wasn't Hargon supposed to be defeated by the three Scions of Erdrick? I, I, the guy, he's in Smash Brothers, I know that. I don't know if this ties, ties into a specific Dragon Quest game, or continuity or anything. Or if the Dragon Quest series has continuity. I know basically nothing about it outside this game. And I've heard that this... 
you don't really add, it doesn't have anything to do with Dragon Quest Builders 1. You don't really need to play that one for this one. So far, that seems to be the case. So is the, is the, the captain just going to live in the caves, in the tunnels here? He's going to be a cave person until we get out of here. Well, I guess he's a pirate, so he's more of a cove person. We now have access to the crematorium, and we need to open the door there. find a key. Oh, there's even stairs. That's that's nice. As far as I have seen so far, this game doesn't have a gravity-affected blocks like Minecraft does. There's no sand to worry about. I mean, there's sand, but it doesn't fall, rather. Dreams of burning bones, locked doors, and blocked tunnels. Honestly, this doesn't seem like it'll take any longer than the previous chapters. Like, we spend, we, we go off to these other islands just to get stuff for our home island, but it's, the, the, there's so much to do on those islands. You, you must be gone for like, weeks, a month, multiple months. And no one on the home island cares. They don't bat an eye. Like, oh, it's just, just on an errand. She'll be back eventually. Probably. We'll just continue sleeping on the ground. With no houses or beds. Or any infrastructure. Until she gets back. They're fine. They're tough. They won't miss me. Where's Malroth? There he is. We spend day after day breaking our backbones to rehabilitate you, and this is how you repay us? What's going on? Love tap. Someone was up to something most sinful last night. A certain periodical was found in block three, the kind that might even lead the most innocent disciple into temptation. Any of you knows who the book belongs to, now is the time to come clean. Okay. Is this, like, a porn magazine or a Home Depot catalog? Because either is, like, probably equally heretic in their eyes. <laughs> the Book of Blueprints. Okay. Well, come on, builder man, or miner man. Oh. 
That's it. There's no work today? Oh, what an awful punishment. Hey, hey, hold on. Where are you going? What are you looking at me like that for? I don't know nothing about no book of bleeding blueprints. I was reading a porno mag. Maybe it just, maybe it just looks bad. I wouldn't be so sloppy as to leave something like that where the guards could find it. Trust me. Yeah, he's, he, Trunks is smart. I believe him. Seems like the warden has no idea what you got up to last night. I guess our, our slime friend is down in the tunnel. Which is better than him hanging around in my clothes. Yes, yeah, somewhere private. In front of, uh, Grandma Molly. Why do you think it's okay to engage in chit-chat in front of my idols, in front of my storehouse? We're busting out. I found a way out. Okay, someone's got crematorium cleaning duty. All right, let's do it. You two are interested in visiting the crematorium. That's not suspicious. Nah, just kidding. Oh, you've learned well. His dreams are dashed. You're rehabilitated. Guess that would be too easy. But can you not just, like, fake fealty? It's not the best way to go out, but it is a way. I guess you wouldn't get your building stuff back if you did that. Just a tap. around? No, not really. A whole lot of nothing. Most humans hate touching dead bodies. Numbskulls kick up a right fuss when it's their turn for cleaning duty. You two have got real backbone. That's okay. We dig through shit, we can dig through skeletons. what they've done with the place. This is not an effective crematorium. 
Oh, wait, I just saw flames. Oh, okay, I guess it is effective. I take it back. I'm sorry. Also, there's grass in here for some reason. Oh, it's the statues. I didn't even see those. They're going to use these bones to add their own numbers, aren't they? Wait, what did I just do? Did I throw the bones out? I think I threw out the bones. They're gone. Sorry, nothing in there. We know where a building station is. Just need to find- I, I got wood, too. There shouldn't be anything stopping me from making another hammer. Except the game doesn't want me to. I'm not supposed to have found the building table yet. This is the way to go. No, I did not need to come up here. But now that I'm up here anyway... Anything cool? Any treasure chests? Nope, just a uh, whole lot of nothing. Boy, there's a lot of that on this island. You need to let your inner skeleton come out. Oh, okay. a hammer hood in the hole. I don't know what a hammer hood is. <laughs> Apparently we're 30% on our escape mission. So that's that's nice. I'm sure we'll at least we'll probably maybe finish the first phase this stream. That'd be nice. I'm not going to do another stream of this, it's just the one, but, uh... Boy, we're really not going to get to do any actual building in this chapter, though. This was a poor place to jump in, perhaps. Normally, you can hop back and forth between your home island and the other islands anytime you want to. Given that this is a prison, I suspect that is not the case here. Huh? Everyone's sleeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did it. Okay. We're gonna befriend the Hammer Hood. Oh, and we lost all our stuff. Even my cabbage. So, this is the legendary hole, huh? Okay, I guess that's a hammer hood.
Well, these spikes don't seem very effective, I dare say. Oh, the poison is. Probably save. I haven't done that in a little while. There's an auto save, but uh, I think you have to activate it by saving once on a new island. Can I take the spikes with me? I want to put some in my cell. Place is dark, damp, and dingy. I love it. Okay, Malroth. It's your new best friend. You are not alone in the hole. You are accompanied by one of the most vicious and violent of hammerhoods. Well, maybe he's nice. I feel weirdly at home here. Faint voice calls out in the darkness, a voice from inside a dream. They've even mentioned Malroth by name as like a, the, the master of destruction or whatever. We haven't got details yet, but... It's been made explicit that he's linked to the destruction cult somehow. When will the master of destruction reawaken? When will we be saved? The Master of Destruction hates you. You're all dicks. I'm, uh doing a solo stream because Jack was, once again, unable to stream this weekend. I'm off tomorrow as well, so I'll probably do some kind of stream that day as well. I said they didn't take our book, at least. It was dark, dank, and disgusting. I loved it! Wouldn't mind another night down here. That's a hammer hood. It wasn't the it wasn't the giant troll fella. That seems like a useful party member to have. This little hammer. We could really use a monster like that if we could get the ability to follow orders into its thick skull. Huh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. We're not going to recruit the monster. We're just going to steal its hammer. Huh? Oh, never mind. <sighs> Why do we ever listen to Malroth? One step at a time. And all that stuff I collected, am I gonna get that back? 
I had some sweety, pretty sweet dry grass. I kind of like this outfit better than the rags. treasure chest. Okay. Was this always just here? I've heard stories about your kind. You go into strangers' houses helping yourselves to the contents of their drawers and smashing all their pots. Oh. You do that. People think the skeletons are scary. That's got the key to the cells and the hole in it. Don't even think about stealing it. So, next plan. Go there at night, rob the chest. I could cook the cabbage. Get a little more, a little more hunger filled, but whatever. You don't die or lose health from zero food. It's just like a fatigue thing. You mine and attack slower. What, what? Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We owe you our thanks. You saved every one of us from a torrid trip to the hole. Huh. Didn't do it for you. Handsome and humble. Whoa, lady. You're a good lad, Malroth. Definitely good and not evil. Hey. Oh, all right, get some cabbages. I'll take them. is a recipe. Dry grass has to be some kind of recipe, otherwise it wouldn't be put in -able. This is basically the Paper Mario system. As far as... As far as I've gotten, you can only combine two things together. You can cook something by itself, or you can mix two things to make a dish. Mushroom and dry grass. Oh, that does make something. What atrocity will this create? It's another edible thing, so that's good. Oh, it's monster munchies. I just discovered the recipe by complete accident. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. The button to uh, eat is the same button as organize. Again, lots of overlapping button commands. Must be exhausted after all that self-reflection. Your rehabilitation for today will be none too taxing. They're awfully nice. They're not like slave drive. They're the opposite of slave driving. These guys don't give you enough shit to do. You've noticed we have a wicked weed problem. Okay. Channel your inner rage into your fists and tear the weeds to pieces. I'm good at that. I, you know what? I need to go in first person for my rage fists. Is 
This is also my first time hearing the music for this game. I mean, I've, I've heard it in the streams, but... When I play, I play with the sound off, because I'm usually like, watching YouTube videos or something, so... I've not been hearing it for most of my time playing the game. There's not a progress meter. So I wonder if, in fact, it measures the grass that's been destroyed or not. Book wasn't actually yours, was it? I have no idea why you'd stick your neck out like that. Minor fella, what do you got to say? You lot, listen, uh, about that book of blueprints, I, uh, ain't saying nothing. Thanks for taking the rap for the rotter who's too chicken to own up. You're proper legends, you two! Can I punch the cabbage? I want to harvest the cabbage with my fists. Didn't have you pegged as someone into who's someone who was into that kind of stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna dig in my hands through toilets. That's what I'm into. That's good enough. He doesn't even care if we actually do it. There, that's why there was no progress meter. We didn't even need to do it at all. Don't worry about whatever silly task the warden gave you. He won't check to see if you're working. He just likes bossing people around. Thank you for once again for saving everyone from being thrown in the hole. The more time I spend observing you, the more I start to think getting off Skelkatraz might not be as impossible as I once thought. Got a plan to befriend the Hammerhood. Finally met that little rascal. Used to be rather fond of building, much like yourself, until the children broke its spirit with their relentless rehabilitation. More reason to set it free and get it the heck out of here. You can't say hell. Dingadile can say bastards. How do we make them? Oh, yeah. How, I wonder. happen every time, but some monsters will get back up after you've beaten them. That's a sign they want to be friends. It's the Mega Man Battle Network, the virus method. Only You can only befriend certain viruses. How do we get it to dig the tunnels if it doesn't understand a word we say? Jailers are bound to notice it's gone missing. You'll need to come up with a way of deceiving the guards. That was a vaguely Zelda noise. <laughs> we gonna make a fake monster doll? Stuffed hammer hood. Yep. A cute and cuddly recreation of a cute and cuddly creature. You're going to swap out the real hammer hood for a doll? Of course! It's brilliant! I think I saw an old sewing station buried under the boxes. That should be enough for you to make your doll. Oh, it's a sewing station, uh, not a builder's desk. I guess that explains why we can only make a very limited number of things there. Oh, that's right. You can, uh, so there's like optional islands you can do. Just smaller ones, not, not full story quests or anything. They get you infinite supplies of certain materials if you complete them. So, I have infinite grass fiber, cord, wood, and, uh, 
one other thing that I don't remember. Very convenient in a game where you go through resources like this. Like, imagine that as a reward in Minecraft. That'd be great, having infinite wood or dirt or something. We can make her one. We've got literally infinite. Only thing to worry about is getting back from the crematorium to the hole and back. I want to. I want to give her a doll. I can, I can make more. I feel bad now. L let me give her one. You just wanted something to cuddle. Watchtower over there seen better days. Platform at the top has some great big holes in it. Well, oh, okay. Now that's torture. They don't want us to do a good job of, of repairing it. He's asking us to do a shitty job. Yeah, just fill it with sand or whatever. It's fine. Not even a good way to get up there. Just have to parkour it. Yeah, I can do that. What a disgusting task for a tradesman. Having to repair something so shittily. Eh, just put sand in the wood. It'll be fine! So ugly. <laughs> Looks like there's another watchtower over. Maybe we can get a view of the hole from there. Legendary hole. Oh, there was a ladder. Never mind. I'm just stupid. Well, anyone can take the boring old ladder up there. I was the cool guy who parkoured up a mountain to do it. And who fists grass to release stress. Oh, there. We gotta fill some sand in the... The other watchtower. Hello. Boy, Malroth has no qualms about just being openly talkative about our escape plan in front of the guards. I guess he's that confident in how dumb they are. This reminds me of an episode of The Good Family, which was an, another series attempted by Mike Judge after King of the Hill. And it flopped. It only got one season, and I did, didn't get any more after that. It was about it's like uh, a, a super hippie family. Which I guess is kind of the opposite of King of the Hill, when you think about it. Like a parody of, of, of super liberals, as opposed to Texas super conservatives. I 
And there was one episode about a guy who was like, uh, he was a hero among the hip, the concert conservationist hippies. He would like use his tears to salt his food. And things like that. Except he was just, he was an asshole who would just ask people to, to do things for him so that he wouldn't have to, uh, he wouldn't have to sully his reputation turning the lights on and using energy and things like that. Okay, that was a weirdly specific thing to reference, but it, it just, just reminded me of it. Nights are pretty lonely on Skelkatraz. Could you make something to warm my bones? Something like a book of blueprints? I know what this is. You can't fool me. I think I'd want to look like, look at something like that if I knew that you'd drawn all the pictures inside it. That was a trap. Maybe. Wait, does he actually want one? Now I'm confused. I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> no, the lie of the land. The lay of the land? Wait, which is it? Okay, well I guess I guess we're good for nighttime then. Other prisoners ain't got shit to say. This is a very different chapter, structurally, from the first two. Or the first two islands. The main island is kind of its own thing that you can do at... Uh, it, it has tasks to build up, but you can do them... ...kind of separately from the other islands, as you so choose. <clears throat> There's a lot to do in this game, and you have a good amount of freedom in doing it. Oh, I should have... I should have cooked cabbage. Well, I cooked one at least. I got plenty. All cabbages, all the time. I've never seen green cabbage. Like, when I think of cabbage, I think of the red stuff. Unless green cabbage is just lettuce. So by day, I have my buddy, Malroth. And by night, I have my buddy, the slime. Gotta be sure. Oh, those screws are such meanies. Screws. Okay, we're like we're like gone. Gone freaks. We can befriend any animal. Until we meet the the Zoldic guard dog, and we realize we can't it, it can't actually befriend every animal. There are some that we cannot befriend. Such is life. Well, 
Well, I guess I don't need to cover up this hole. Like, they don't notice anything. It's fine. It's a non-issue. Oh. Oh! Miner friend! No! I liked him! Nice mud shower. I like go up this? I can, but I don't think it goes anywhere. Just into a big a mud drain. I I hope it's mud. Stealth mode. Prison guard spot, you'll be sent back to the starting point. I guess that's what this rock path is for. It wasn't useless after all. That's good. Just jumping around in the uh, quote unquote rafters. Meow. Yajirobi? Where are you? I want I wanna befriend him. Does, does it have a butthole? It does not. That's surprising for a Japanese animal. Usually Japanese anime animal critters have buttholes. Where am I going? Go face a little bit to the left. Guess I'm going this way. Is this the hole? I don't know for sure where the hole is. platforming in this game. Definitely feels like I have better control of my character than Minecraft, at least. Don't know where the hole is, though. Uh, hmm. Did I, did I screw myself? Did I go someplace I wasn't supposed to? Is this it? Guess this is it. chest I need to get to.
Wait, this is the prison block. This is right above my cell. Oh, I've gone in a full circle, haven't I? Yeah, these are the cells. Oh, I see it. I, I feel dumb. I have I have building blocks. I don't need to parkour everything. I thought I saw the thing. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Quest marker. It's the entrance. Oh, hello. We're going to go through the gutters. Don't, I don't think it's mud. disproportionate amount of this chapter has dealt with fecal matter. Hell of an attempt. Good, good on you, guy. Okay, we can ride the slime. Well, this is new. I've, I've ridden a golem in this game. Oh, it's like a hippity hop! Well, there seems to be a very well-defined route for us to take. So I'm assuming we want to take this route. Man, it's sad when people who make RPG games are end up doing better platforming than some platforming games. This beats Rascal any day. Oh. I'm not here.
don't have a whole lot to say. I'm fascinated by the narrative. Okay, we fist. Who needs weapon when you have fist? Where's my munchies? There's a goo ratified glint in the hammer hood's eyes. Some nice long unskippable uh, fanfares in this game. Oh, I have to name this thing too. Uh, how do I space? Is there not a space? I'll, I guess I'll just be MC. MC and his hammer. This is stupid. To do this entire section over again, get all the way back to the cell. Hmm. I don't remember this sand being here. Ah, I'm sure it's nothing. so easy to get lost. Everything's underground. Okay, I'm, I'm going the wrong way, I guess. I need to go south. Which means I need to go over here again. Conspicuous. Oh, I can't place that there? 
Come on, I want to build a, a path across the statues. No, I can't do that. Drat. Okay, well, I have to get across there somehow. Did I, did I screw up by jumping down? Did I jump down? I guess I, I, well, I jumped down where I needed to get to the, uh... There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. Maybe not. I'd love to be up there again. But it doesn't seem especially easy to make that happen. <laughs> Ow. It's alright. We got a little more sand. It's not what I wanted to do. Boy, they're not making this easy. Which means I'm not supposed to be doing it this way, but... You know what? Maybe I can... No, I don't think... I don't think they want me building my way up there. Seems like it's disabled, even. Well, there's that. I have a platform. Do I have enough sand to get up from it? If there is a... if there's a... some equivalent to the crouch button in Minecraft, then I haven't discovered it yet. This is definitely not how... the route they intended me to take. You know what? I don't care. Oh, it's well, it's underground. How am I supposed to get down there again? Uh, hmm. That marker is not where I thought it was. Well, I got here from the incinerator. If only I knew where that was. I have come in a, a large circle. back to the cells. Unfortunately, I can't just go in the front door. There's the cells, I think. Is that the cells or is that the incinerator? Oh, I wish there was a map and that it wasn't all just underground.
these are just the cells. I'm out of shore sand. I'm now down to regular sand. I, I hate this map. This lack of a map. The slime must be so upset with me. Boy, I would love if it could just show me the way, because it likes to talk about how it knows this place inside and out. I could really use that right now. engineer the way to the the way to the uh, the incinerator okay so they just they reset my progress back to where I started from the the, the this guy's cell going up across that sequence up there. After I came, I, I went through the, uh, the grates, the water that wasn't water or mud. There's that path up there. So I gotta backtrack that down here down here, I guess. To get to here. I think this is where we started the climb. So this must be near the grates. Aha! Boy, that was a trial and a half. So, in most of the other chapters, you'll have, like, villagers or NPCs who ask you to build things to help build up the, the town, or the farm, or the mine, or whatever it was. In addition to exploring, finding things, etc., etc. Which would culminate in, like, a giant village building project that the villagers would chip into. And they'll automatically do the building. As you go about doing your final mission. Final missions. So, uh, this was a very non-buildy portion of the game. To stream. And now I still- I barely know where I'm going. Here, here we are. Here's the incinerator, I think. All right. I'll go a little bit longer. I'll see where this goes. Where's the tunnel? 
Here it was. Yeah, I had no idea what I was getting into when I started this chapter. I did not realize it was going to be a jailbreak thing. I'm also out of food, and I ate all my cabbages. Okay, well, we got, we got our hammer, so... Tomorrow night, I can bust through some of these dirt walls and get out. And that'll be that. It'll be that easy. There's not going to be a boss or other complications or nothing. We'll get out of we'll get out of Skelkatraz and have a happily ever after. And that'll be all she wrote. Wait. Just to be sure. All right. Well, that was not the quite the uh, quite the stream I anticipated it to be. Again, very little building for a game that is mostly about building. But you kind of get the gist of what the game the game is about. It does. It is very similar to Minecraft as a story. I'm enjoying it a lot. You can check it out if you're so inclined. Uh, that's it for me today, and I'll probably be back tomorrow with either the guys for Awesome Knots or another solo stream. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.